In this film I'm going to show you how to draw walls. Um, I'm using 19.1 professional platinum but it would be the same in um, professional and at this stage in the architectural tools it would be the same in deluxe. So I need to first of all this is defaulted for me to millimeters and um, we've got a screen that's just a little bit bigger than an A4 sheet so the grid's not a lot of good to me it's far too small so the first thing I'm going to do is going to go up to options and grid and uh, here the grid is five millimeters so I'm gonna make the grid hundred millimeters now a brick the UK brick is uh, 102 millimeters wide so we're going to make a grid of 100 and we're just going to pretend our bricks are 100 wide so that the whole thing fits together nicely um, so we say OK here and we see the grid has changed, the grid is quite large now so I can zoom back, I'm still dealing in millimeters, I'm not dealing in meters so we've got a grid that we can work with, make some sort of sense. And the next thing we need to do is to find the architectural tools. Now the architectural tools you will now, if you start looking around, they've moved them about in 18 up here, about here, it said architecture. They're not there anymore. Um, now they're under, either you can find them under tools, architecture, or you can go up here and right click up to the top right right click and click onto the architecture box here and there they'll appear so we'll work with that one so to draw walls you can see all these are greyed out this is modifying walls well they are greyed out because there's no walls there so if we choose wall left click come down to drawing area right click properties and this sheet comes up and we, we click onto wall that's what we're going to deal with uh, ask for the thickness of the wall we're, we're going to draw a, just a one brick thick garden shed if you like so our thickness we said was a hundred our height if we said it was sort of, I don't know say a bit lower than a normal uh, room if we said it was 2300 high Underneath here it says auto clean up. It's just so that when one wall butts onto another, it'll automatically clean itself up. End caps or show mitre. Uh, that's really not important, I don't think. Show direction is to do with when we want to add materials later on. Because if when we add materials, we can say we want one material on the left hand side and the other material on the right hand side and depending which way we drew the wall would depend upon which side was left and which side was right we might have forgotten that so if we click on to show direction it will remind us so it would be a, an aid to when we put a material on a wall but we're not going that uh, down that path on this film the origin or reference point defaults to the center of the wall well we probably don't want that so I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say right here and say OK I'm going to start down here, bottom left, and I'm going to hit the G snap to grit to snaps my grid. And there's the wall, we can see it. Now I'm going to leave my mouse alone and I'm going to do a wall going up here uh, three meters and straight up. So I'm going to hit the tab key and I'm going to type 3000. I'm going to hit the tab key again and type 90 for degrees, then hit return. Then I'm going to hit tab, I'm going to come across 4 meters, so 4,000, tab 0, hit return. Now, what have I done? I have put 400 rather than 4,000, I missed uh, 0. So, what I can do now is I can right click and go one step back. Okay, so it's okay. So, again, length this time I do four, one, two, three zeros, angle 0 hit return now at any point I can come I can take over and say uh, take over and do it by eye and I can snap to the grid there there now I know 
uh, two boxes are a meter so I can do that sort of thing and I can tab down here there there and then for my last uh, wall to close it I can right click and say close and there it is if there was an extra piece on the building perhaps a little uh, bit here a cupboard we're going to build onto it I can go there and I'll snap G for G for grid here we take it out at one and a half meters we take it across two meters and down there again and that as you can see has healed itself if I had any walls across here um, I'd simply uh, click on here G and there G and that's what my other wall in and we can now push down on the wheel mouse and look at that and we can see we've got a building when I go back and look at it in plan view if I look up here I can't see my st oh there they are there's my standard views if I just click onto that one again we're back in plan view now if I want to break this wall up I've got a wall split tool which is here it's important to remember with this wall split tool that you have to choose the wall twice so I can say I want this wall to be split from here and then you don't say to the next place you say you select the wall again say from to there okay hit return to come out the tool now it looks like nothing's happened and now some people will start to use the wall tool again but that, that's a mistake because just because it doesn't look different doesn't mean to say it isn't different you've actually split it so now you can select a bit in the middle and hit delete and then I can come up here and I can look at it in isometric and there's the basics of our of our uh, building that we're going to add to over a number of um, films okay so that's just a start for the walls and I'll stop it there and the next one we'll put some doors on